This is Dr. Heckendorf, Seller State Veterinarian's Office. Hey, doctor. Hello? Yes, sir. I'm here. Okay, there's a lot of echo in here. Yeah, let me get rid of this. All right, how's that? That's better. All right, sir. <laughs> Sorry, I was in a hallway and uh, on a Bluetooth, so it's double down on noise. So. So you called the day? Well, we are we are inquiring about whether or not a donkey can track VS. That is, and if there was we any know that. that that information is not out there. Okay. Uh, we don't have any statistics uh, on how many donkeys have been exposed, how many have got it. I understand. We 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 as a uh, concerned community were trying to compile some some simple questions to get to the bottom of because we don't know of any confirmed cases. We can't find any confirmed cases. Um, and when they say equine, they lump donkeys into that. And we're wondering if that's even, you know, I mean, obviously we always want to err on the side of caution and we're with you 100%. And as you and I discussed yesterday, that even though, I mean, it, it's a concerning disease because even a human can contract it. And so it's, uh, like you said, it, it doesn't affect you until it affects you. <laughs> so we absolutely take uh, passion on that and want to understand it, but we also want to understand the science behind it and what's going on. Um, and are there, is there truly an alarm for donkeys? Well, you know, I don't, I don't know that even for horses that it's truly a, it would depend on how you define alarm. Uh, I mean, it's certainly a concern. Uh, the fatalities that result from it are extremely low, and the only reason that there is a fatality is if, you know, you, for instance, now if you had a horse that, uh, couldn't eat or drink and it was really hot, it would be uh, an ancillary cause, that, not the virus itself, but uh, the effects of the virus, you know. So if not treated, that could be life-threatening? Well, yeah, and, and certainly if they can't eat or drink, then you can tube them or you can give them IV fluids or something like that. Right. Probably the most severe issue is if they get it in their quarter band and, and they could cause some severe hoof problems. Right, cripple them. You need to, what, you, what you need to be concerned about is fly control. I agree with you 100%. And, and if you do your fly control, you're going to be in good shape. Good, and that's what we discussed last year with the state vet's office. They're like, you guys need to be fly control, fly control, and fly control. <laughs> so that's and, how we handled it last not, year. That's not to say that you still can't get it, but your chances are significantly, significantly lower. Yes, sir. And is it flies around the eyes and mouth flying into the moisture of the animal, or is it because donkeys don't really get fly issues around the face. Uh, there are some that can, but... Um, and, that, and that's probably why, one of the reasons you don't see it in donkeys. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, at this point, we are just wanting to make sure that we um, have as much information as possible so that these towns can make a decision. And um, we don't want them to make well, the wrong I, decision. You know, again, like I said... I don't think you need to alter your course. Just make sure you take care of the flies. Yes, sir. That is what we needed to hear. That is perfect. Okay. All right. Flies it is. And we got weeks to deal with them. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, sir.